anyone who doesn't know the style in which Danny and I broadcast, and it is a style, uh, won't know that we don't ever uh, 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 go to a subject head on. And I, uh, I'm always staggered that more people don't, um, uh, uh, well, when we're not working, take our, our thunder. But uh, we didn't think there'd be a book or a radio show. The radio shows were, you in know, fact, very successful. Admin, you were adamant it could not be done. I did. <laughs> Believe it or not, this was supposed to be done two years ago. And I said, there's no such book of our radio show. It's an ad lib, uh, a kind of a uh, theme rule. It, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's as slippery as a skinless eel, the way we broadcast. And it's not about football. And the last thing it is is uh, about formations and should England have a new manager and all that kind of dreary stuff, which general media think people talk about football like. Uh, it wouldn't be the all-encompassing global phenomenon it is if it wasn't actually very personal and ludicrous. And if it's our job then to be the, uh, uh, the, the tumblers at the court of the mighty football, so be it. The publishers made two mistakes prior to actually getting the manuscript from us. They thought that we would sit down together, discuss the book, hire a slightly gay office in the West End of London and get on with doing the book. That was their first mistake. The second mistake they made was they gave us the money in advance. Both those things held up. Oh, you the said to me at one point, Danny, I don't care what you said, I'm not giving this money back. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're my cavalier stuff. So, Dan, I can't do it. I, there's no book. We can't write a book like and this. I said, I tell you what, Danny, I am not giving back this money. And then we met one day. Uh, one day we said, this is it then. Come on. Right. I mean, if you're not giving the money back, we better meet up and do this book. Yeah. So we met in an office in the West End. We don't see each other anything yeah. like we, we, you know, we should. No. And so we met in this office in the West End. And I turned up, incredibly, with a laptop. because neither was Brilliant. There. And I said, where's yours? He went, I haven't brought it down. I'll tell you that. I said, well, how are you going to write them? Well, um, let's talk about what we're going to write. And it was the in a great way of men all the world over and probably key to this book we just wasted our time this two book, men throwing cards into a top hat were doing something more useful than what we were what doing, we, were doing. we just you know we yomped and let ourselves out of the room having got no further down the road but in essence that's the key to this you'll know nothing more about football than because nobody does know anything about it it's a game you know, it's a global game, it's a terrific thing, but for the love of God, it really isn't about this tortuous jargon and statistics and, and commercial aspect of it. And, you know, people sitting around saying, well, you know what, I think if we, you know, have a good Christmas calendar, we might have a, up, be up there or thereabouts at the end of the year. I don't know anyone who speaks like that. I don't recognise that. I think football supporters will recognise this absolute pith and nonsense in here much more than actual football talk. Sky, Sky's coverage of football has been a brilliant thing, a miraculous thing, and we raise a big hat in its general direction and in the direction of it, the king of football, Jeff, Jeff Stelling. Stelling. But on the other hand, they've got it, even they have got it so, so wrong. You know, pictures in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a car park of blokes on supposedly on the way to football, heading a football to each other and tying up a scarf to watch on the television. No, no, no. As Danny no. said, that we don't recognise, don't feel, there's no DNA in that at all about football, football supporters. I hope in our book, that if you if you handed it to someone you thought liked the game of football, watched the game, went to the game every now and then, it'd be a brother, a father, a son, or a sister who loves the game and hand them that book. By the end of that book, it say, they won't even they won't even give you a kiss. I just go, they'll recognise it. If we were aiming extraordinarily high, and believe me, I know exactly how high we're aiming here, and it's not true. If you read someone like Perelman or Benchley, if you will, they might take as their lead uh, the legal profession, and you, they'll write. 2,000 words on it, and at the end of it, you won't know anything more about it, but you think, man, they can write. And one thing, we will take our heart in our hands. We're, 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 we're good writers. We always have been. But I think it will confuse a lot of people who uh, really do talk in that cliche way. People who don't understand what it's like to go to a football match on a day or the kind of conversations you have, which have no basis in reality. You're not interested in what anyone else has to say. So if you're not interested in what anyone else has to say, why base it in, you know, in, in, in fact at all. So the first thing that said, this book says is that uh, the oldest uh, club playing football, after going through the origins of football in ancient China, a uh, land of mandarins, Ming and low, low prices, uh, it says um, uh, uh, it's not Notts County. People say that, but it's not. It's Bristol Rovers. That is just willful misinformation. Now, it's not all like that, but once we've set down that marker saying everything you know is wrong, it should be funny. I think there's laughs on most pages. Danny's stuff has... You know, some kind of factual Basically, backup, fact, but his, his conclusions by, are all by wrong. swinging assertions at the end of those facts, <laughs> Exactly. No. It they, says on the cover... like haymakers, left-handers. It says on the cover, sometimes right, sometimes, sometimes wrong, 
Always certain. Always certain. And it's firstly and foremostly, we, we do not sit beneath football and try to discuss it. It's a book. It's written as a book, as a read, as, a, as they used to say, a thundering good read. And, well, it is the honest truth. We didn't meet at all during the writing of it. We did not meet, not once during the writing of it. Because we do like to, we like our own writing and, yeah. and usually walk around the house in an orgy of self-congratulation. Oh, yeah, yeah. After Often just in a loincloth. It's the yeah. best way, it's the best and, way to do it. And my wife, I'll go down in the kitchen and I will be laughing out loud. And she'll go, and she'll indulge me. She'll say, it's going all right, is it? I say, it's very funny when. And I'll read it while she's trying to prepare something. And she'll go, whoa, you, you got it there. But I we do that too often. We did not send one word of what each other had written to you each other during the whole thing. There was no tennis. There was no, is this good enough? We just wrote it. Now, just did our instinct. D Danny's natural uh, uh, instinct is, is to be quite cautious. I'm a performer editor, so I want things to be the best they can yeah, be. And, and he also, you know, in the old cliche, if, if he sees flowers, he looks around for the funeral, you know. And uh, it, me, I, I, I'm staggered when uh, A, England don't win World Cups, and B, everything I do isn't universally loved. And so I didn't read it. I knew the stuff I'd written I was very pleased with and, and surprised after saying there's no such book here, little coward. So we got the proofs. And, you ring, and the actual hard copy came through with the cover and everything. And you rang this up and you said, have you read it? And I said, no. He went, it's good. I thought, man, Danny said it. He went, it's really good. It really is and good. And I crept away, and because you don't, believe me, you don't, just, you don't really sit there think, ha ah, that was really good. I started reading it and the way it's been edited together, chapter after chapter, we're all individual chapters, there's no two words together. And you thought, this is just goofy and it's fun and it's, if you know anything about football, this is surprising because no one else writes like this about it and, and presumes the audience equally have experienced and get that. Uh, as I say, if, if you're just somebody who's schooled in football because what you've seen on television, what you've ever read on the back probably page of newspapers, you. it's probably not for you because you think, well, hang on, that, that, that's not right, that's not true. And in fact, I could take issue. There's not an argument in this book. We do not brook arguments. It is a broadside, and it is not bad-tempered at all, apart from my bit about cool. what, what is cool. What is cool. No. Yeah. But otherwise, it is just a big, goofy read. I, I genuinely think people who don't like football would read it and think, well, I don't understand some <laughs> of the reference points there, but the jokes stand up, and the language is just a firework yeah, display. It's a volcano. It is a volcano, and it is, um, some chapters are six words long. Some are more substantial. The few autobiographical things, you know, I think stand it's up. about our dads, I think, are very nice and I'll, beautifully I'll, written. I wrote about my time, uh, the, that photo of Paul Gascoigne and Chris Evans and I that turns up every first time I've ever spoken men in public about Paul. And that's a, it's a love letter to him and uh, hopefully it'll bolster him. But otherwise, it was, it was rather like uh, Chuck Jones, who made all the Warner Brothers cartoons, or better, Warner Brothers cartoons, or Tex Avery. Yeah. When they were asked, who do you make your cartoons for, kids or adults? He said, we make them for ourselves. And Danny and I, through years and uh, uh, years, have broadcast and written, and we found that, yeah, it may not be a universal club, but we, uh, we, we don't know how to write for people who are fed up with the norm. And whatever else about this, it, it is, it's not normal. <laughs> That's the best thing we can say about it. It's not normal. <laughs> it's not normal, and neither is, neither should it be. And also, it's very you know the reason that that came out all right. Ironically, we put volume one on there because it was originally going to be called Everything We Know, Volume One Football, uh, and the publishers went with that title, which may be kind of misleading. But uh, I'll say I hubristic, hubristic, <laughs> a little hubristic. Uh, but uh, we we look now it up. we now look forward. We now look forward to uh, many, 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 many years because all right, there've been over forty books written about football since movable type was introduced. This just being the latest. Uh, but we think you know this this may have legs, uh, Douglas Bader style, but it'll, it'll have some legs. Um, that's it. <laughs>